And hi everyone, my name is Yazin from Bahrain. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create your own website. Now the first step is to come up with a domain and that's an address. So essentially a domain is an address. Now think about it this way. Uh, if your website was a house, a domain would be the land that your house sits on. So the domain is really just an address. All right, that's simple enough. Let's get started. So how do you get a domain? It's pretty straightforward. You just go to a domain registrar and you look for a domain. So before that, I want to get a good deal on a domain. Now domains are usually paid for every year and I want to make sure I get a really good deal. So I'm going to search for cheap domains first. I always like using retail me not to kind of get discounts. I'm just going to search for domains. All right, and let's see what they have. All right, so GoDaddy gets you a domain for 2.95. Oh, here's one. Oh, this is nice. Network Solutions. You get a domain for just 150. Let me go click on that. All right. So the first step would be to come up with a domain name. Now this could be your name, uh, or it could be uh, anything really. But uh, you know, for example, if I tried to register Google.com, Google.com is already taken. Oh snap! All right, uh, let me search for something now. Something like uh, Bahrain Property. Say I want to, I don't know, create some sort of online real estate provider. All right, so it's available. Let's go ahead and add that to my cart. Now, you can choose between public and private registration. Private registration means your information is not published to the online domain database. I'm just going to go ahead with public since they'll charge you an extra $9.99 per year for private. All right, so public registration there. Very nice. So, $150. This is about as low as it gets. You don't get much lower than $150. So, I'm going to check out with PayPal. And um, you know some some domain providers ask to give you like a ton of extra stuff, emails and extra space and all these little you know bells and whistles that'll cost you tons. Please don't do that. Just don't, don't. All right, so now uh, I'm gonna log into my PayPal account. You don't have to see this. All right, so now I've put in my payment details and it's telling me you can protect your domain with domain expiration protect. No thanks, no thanks. They're gonna ask you for a ton of stuff. Just don't don't accept any of that. All right, so now it's um, it's the part where I have to fill in all my details. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Remember though that this information will be made public in a giant phone book of sorts that is published on the internet. It's called the Whois database. And I can show you later how to do a search in the Whois database to find out who owns a particular domain. But anyway, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and fill this up. All right, so I've gone ahead and filled in all my information. And now it's telling me to, I guess it's just a vinyl confirmation page. Do not renew. Make sure you do not renew uh, products and services unless you really know you want to keep that domain. So I'll go ahead and submit this. Oh, I saved 33 bucks, 49 cents. Well, it's not really that expensive, but 150 for a domain. That's great. All right, so I hit, I agree to the service agreement uh, continue, obviously after you've read the whole thing. And now it tells me that my order is complete. So that's it. I've booked the domain now. So just to make sure that I, uh, I've got it, let me go ahead and do a domain name search. And let's see if that domain is there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do a search, BahrainProperty.com. All right, search. And you'll see that it's taken. Now, if it doesn't show as taken, then don't worry. Uh, sometimes it takes five, 10 minutes. Um, maybe even an hour before you can actually see that uh, everything is is uh, pushed to uh, the website and all the other registrars. Now, you also notice that if I tried going to BahrainProperty.com, 
uh, I don't have my website. I have some weird website telling me this page is under construction. Um, now, don't worry about that. Uh, like I said earlier, we have not, we haven't built the house yet. This is just the land. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to actually set up your website. So you'll be able to see, you'll be able to create content for your visitors. Now, again, check out my website, uh, yaz.in slash videos, if uh, you'd like to see the entire series or maybe even subscribe. Now, have a great day.